In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to reset a Windows XP password. Let's get started. So for this video, we're not going to use any kind of VM or screen capture. We're going to be using real hardware. And for today's video, we'll be using the old HP Pavilion A1200Y. For this method to work, we are going to need some kind of Windows install media, whether it's a DVD or a USB. It doesn't really much matter, though it will need to be Vista 7, 8, or 10. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, as I do know what the password is for this install, as it's already set to pass 123 Word. Now, this doesn't much matter, as we're going to be able to change it to whatever we want. So to begin, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, reboot this computer and boot from our USB. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now you are going to need to know what your boot menu key is. Uh, for me, it's escape, so we'll uh, hit that right there. From here, we want to select our scan disk and boot from USB. Now, this could take some time, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. Okay, now that we're at the uh, install prompt, uh, we're not going to go any further with this. We're actually going to bring up command prompt using a keyboard shortcut. So we'll go ahead and hold down the shift key and hit F10. Now that we have access to a command prompt, what we need to do is we need to figure out what drive letter is associated with our Windows install. More than likely it's C, uh, but we may try D if it's not that. So I went ahead and ran the DIR command just to see what was on this drive. And uh, by the looks of it, this is our Windows XP install. So now that we have this information, we can go ahead and run a few commands. So these first couple commands are just going to be uh, copy commands to make uh, backups of our sticky keys program file as well as our command prompt program file. So we'll go ahead and type that in. With that copy done, we'll go ahead and type out our copy command for our command prompt. Alright, with both our copies finished, what we need to do now is run our last command, which will actually copy our command prompt program file over our sticky keys program file without changing its name from the sticky keys name. So we'll go ahead and type that in. So it'll go ahead and ask you to overwrite, and we'll just uh, select yes. So now the uh, copy is complete, and we're all set with command line and with this uh, Windows 7 install. So we'll go ahead and exit out of all this, pull out our USB, and uh, reboot to the Windows XP login screen. All right, from here what we want to do is we want to try to open up sticky keys uh, using the keyboard shortcut, though instead of sticky keys, it'll open up our modified file, which should be command prompt. So we'll hit shift five times. Okay, now that we got access to command prompt, we're going to go ahead and run a few more commands to change the password. The first of which will be net user. So this command just brings up all of the uh, user accounts that are on this Windows install. We have the built-in administrator, the built-in guest, a few system accounts, and our owner account. Now at this point, we can type in our final command, which will actually change the password. Uh, this command is net user, the name of our account, which is owner, and the new password we want. So we'll go ahead and type that in. 
So you want to be careful because these are case sensitive. So you want to make sure you match your user and the uh, password that you'll use. With that uh, typed in, we'll go ahead and enter. And right here it tells us that it is completed successfully. So now we can close out this command prompt and try out our new password. First, we're going to try our original password, pass123word. And as you can see, it doesn't work anymore. And now we'll try our new password, which was just 123. And there we are. We're logged right in. And there we go. It really is that easy. Uh, what I want to do is log back out and uh, show you guys how to change it again. So once again, we're going to want to open up our uh, sticky keys uh, modified file by hitting uh, the keyboard shortcut of shift five times. From here, we're going to change the password to our user account again. And uh, this time we'll change it to something a little more different. We'll use Windows. Okay, as you can see, it says that it completed successfully again. So we'll exit out of this and we'll try our old passwords. So first we'll try our original, which was uh, pass one, two, three, word. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Next, we'll try our last password, which was one, two, three. And again, it doesn't work. We'll try our new password that we just changed it to, which was Windows. So we'll go ahead and type that one in. And there we are. It logs us right in. So that's how you change a Windows XP password. Knowledge is power.